say there's some baby. Yeah, there's babies up there. So I'm just gonna lower them to the lower roof. Okay, go on. Go on, you know where to go. So the path was right here where the roofs made an easy walkway, huh? Yes. When they just reached up, grabbed it onto the east trough, and then she was able to pull herself up. Now, that's your first sign this was not squirrels. Exactly, <laughs> yes. Um, raccoons usually use a, a common latrine where they deposit their feces before or after um, coming out. Now, you were telling me something about not cleaning this up. Yes, in the, the raccoon's stomach, there's a worm that lays its eggs in the feces. And one gram of feces can have up to a million eggs in it. If these eggs are ingested by a human being, it can be fatal. Fatal? Fatal. There's a young boy in the States right now that's dying from this disease. It's called uh, Bayless ascaris is the name of the worm, or raccoon roundworm. So, so what do you do with this stuff? Well, you have to be very careful. In most cases, I usually tell the homeowner to leave it well enough alone. But if you have to clean you it up... Just let it decompose over time? Yes. And in fact, the eggs last forever. There's no life expectancy of the eggs. The best thing to do, if it's not going to become into close to human contact, to leave it alone, like in an attic like, or up or, here. Or up like here. Okay. Um, but if it's in a, on a porch where you're going to be using the porch, then you want to use things that are disposable, like maybe buy a, a kid's plastic snow shovel, clean up the feces, use it only to clean up feces, and then when you're done with it, throw everything out. Don't garden with the same shovel. Do not garden with the same shovel. It's very dangerous. That's, yes. I didn't realize it was that serious a thing. 